U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says that additional sanctions against Russia are teed up should events in eastern Ukraine require a significant response. Speaking in Washington, Kerry defended the Obama administration for hesitating over whether to send weapons to Ukraine to help it defend against Russian-backed militants. We've been doing a lot. I think everybody understands that we're not going to be able to do enough under any circumstance that if Russia decides to match it and surpass it, they're going to be able to do it. Everybody knows that, including President Poroshenko. The debate is whether or not there are some some weapons that could be given to them that give them a greater ability to defend themselves in order to prevent the creeping land grabbing that's been taking place or at least raise the cost. That's a very legitimate discussion. Uh, President Obama has not yet made that decision, partly because even yesterday there was a meeting in Paris of the Russian foreign minister, the, the Ukrainian foreign minister, and the French and German foreign ministers to measure the implementation of Minsk and to see if they can move further. Kerry added that the U.S. considered the militant siege of the rail hub of the Baltsava a ceasefire violation, but that there are signs that the agreement was being implemented. Some weapons have been pulled back, troops, some troops have been pulled back. Uh, obviously, Debaltseva was the site of a continued battle. That's a violation. There have been many violations of the Minsk ceasefire since then. So the measurement now is, are we on a downward track to actually seeing an implementation? Or is there now a Mariupol or some other effort that may be taking place which would immediately merit a much more significant uh, uh, response, which is speed up? And that could be very serious next level of sanctions coupled with other choices the president may or may not make. Militants have claimed that they are withdrawing heavy weapons from the front, although the OSCE monitoring mission has not been able to verify how much has been withdrawn. Ukraine said it was too early to do likewise due to continued shelling, but said that there had been significantly less activity over the past two days.